Which you guys got another video here for you. If you've got Windows 10, this is good news for you because Windows 10 gets a uh, five years extended support with Zero Patch. Zero Patch is basically a service that provides micro security patches without disruptions and announced today by Zero Patch that it plans to offer security patches for Windows 10 for at least five years after the official end of life date, which is October 14th, 2025. So once we reach October 14th, 2025, Microsoft have also offered extended security updates for that operating system, but at a cost and you will have to pay. They haven't disclosed how much it's gonna cost for home users just yet, they have announced that it is available for business users. Uh, normally, uh, extended security patches are not offered for home users. This is the first time if Microsoft do offer uh, home users these security patches, which are, will extend its life for another three years. Of course, it's going to double in price each year as well. So you have to uh, weigh up the pros and the cons, whether it's worth continuing with those security updates because it's going to cost you money. So you can see here, Windows 10 Home and Pro, these are the end of life, which is October 14th, 2025, which I've already mentioned. But I just wanted to show you here, that was the start date, which was July 29th, 2015. That was quite a way ago. And, uh, you know, people don't realize how old an operating system is. And we do move forward in time with technology and advancements. So you do have to sort of keep up with the times. So how old is too old? You know, it depends on how old your computer is. If it's like 20 years old, uh, then it's probably going to be starting to get too old anyway to even continue security updates for that old system. But you can see here, we do have uh, the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021, which also supports uh, extended life up until 2032. So if you do have an old system and you can get your hands on a version of this with a valid key, because you will need to reinstall Windows and use that key, they're generally uh, meant for businesses only, but there is keys floating around and you can get yourself one of those and probably continue to use that system if you really need to. And uh, again, talking about the extended life uh, patches that you can receive from Microsoft, again, they have made announcements about this for businesses which is your ESU cost and they do uh, sort of go through it right here on their website it hasn't sort of disclosed any sort of payments how much it's going to cost for home users just yet so we have to wait and see but again it's going to come down to how old your computer is and is it worth uh, keeping it going for another so many years and paying for it to keep it going what do you do on your computer do you just surf the web or watch YouTube. If you do, you may want to change to something like Linux. There's Linux Mint, which is very easy to install and use. It's free and you will receive security updates and it won't cost you a penny. And there's other versions of Linux as well, which you can use. It can play games, not all games, but it can play a lot of games. And it can also do a lot of multimedia, productivity, and also graphic design and things like that if you're into that sort of thing. You are going to have a steep learning curve because obviously it's a completely different operating system to Windows uh, altogether. And another thing that you might find is some of your favorite software that you've been used to using on Windows doesn't work on Linux. Uh, there is a lot of software that does work on Linux, but there is certain software that don't work on Linux. So let's talk about Zero Patch. So Zero Patch is there to micro patch your system once it reaches end of life. So on October 14th, 2025, you can literally use zero patch. It's not free and you are going to have to pay for it. But again, if you are in a complete jam where you can't afford to buy a new computer and you want to continue to use that computer, then this is another option for you. You can see here the pricing is 24.95 euros plus tax per year and they will give you extra support on that system. So if you're using Windows 10 uh, after October 14th, 2025, when it reaches end of life, and you do pay for, say, Zero Patch, what you're going to get from Zero Patch is critical security vulnerability patches for that system discovered after the October 14th, 2025 time period. So you will receive 
those updates for that system. So these patches are small, tiny sets of CPU instructions injected into a running process in your PC's memory. So basically, this is how Zero Patch works. They don't concentrate on patching every single issue with Windows. What they are going to do is fix what's really important. So any sort of uh, patch that is really serious, for instance, uh, remote access, which people can gain access to your computer or any other particular type of uh, serious patch that needs to be done, like zero day and things like that. These will be patched immediately by zero patch. And the good thing about zero patch is that it can also quickly undo changes if it's causing an issue to the computer. So for instance, if a patch that has been rolled out by zero patch is starting to affect the PC in any way, shape or form, they can quickly uh, undo that patch. So that's how basically zero patch works. You can see here what is zero patch and they go through all of this on their website and explain it. And it says zero patch delivers miniature patches of code, micro patches to computers and other devices worldwide in order to fix software vulnerabilities, even closed source uh, products as well. Zero patch will take care of it. There's no reboots necessary and there's no downtime when you're patching the system. So is zero patch really worth it? That's the thing you have to ask yourself. How old is your computer right now? Do you plan on keeping that computer for another five years? If you do, then you're going to need security updates. If you want to stay on Windows, then something like zero patch would work for you. Also, maybe wait and see what Microsoft have to offer and how much they are going to charge you for their security updates. Because obviously, uh, Windows is a proprietary operating system. Only Microsoft can provide genuine updates. Only Microsoft have the source code. No one can see that. And obviously, they are going to be obviously offering better security patches than what anyone else can do. Although Zero Patch is still a really good alternative option to Windows uh, security updates that Microsoft are going to be offering. It all comes down to money, how long they're going to offer the support for and how it's going to work for you at home and also as a business. There's a lot of things to take into account. So you can see here also how does it work and it says Zero Patch Agent is their mighty little patching machine uh, which watches over all processes running on that computer. When any one of them is found to have a patch available, that patch is immediately applied to that process in memory without disturbing that process. So Zero Patch Agent periodically asks our service uh, whether it has any new patches to deliver and download those patches to your system. So it basically works like that. You can read all this information on Zero Patch's website. Now, I don't work for Zero Patch. I'm, I'm not being paid to promote Zero Patch. I'm giving you options which are available to you if you're on Windows 10 and you're worrying about what you can do with that computer. If you can't afford a new computer, then you have to look for an alternative uh, to keep using that computer. So you have Linux, which you can use, which is free, and it will be patched and uh, updated on a regular basis. And then you have the Microsoft Extended Patches option, which is also going to cost money, and they may not even roll it out to home users yet. We just really don't know because they haven't done it before. And then you've got the zero patch option, which is obviously going to cost you money as well uh, per year to keep that uh, security updates coming for that operating system. And the other option is to be obviously realistic and look at how old your computer is. If it's really old, uh, then it may be time to upgrade your hardware and get yourself a new computer and uh, basically go down that route. Also ask yourself the question, can your old computer do everything you need it to do? If it's starting to struggle in certain areas, like video editing and things like that, then maybe it is time to upgrade and move on. But Linux is not going to change that for you. Linux is just an operating system. A lot of people will think that uh, Linux will make your PC faster, but you're still governed by your hardware that you have in that system. Your CPU is still the same CPU, and it's still the same RAM that you have in there, and it's still the same old components. And uh, it's not a miracle worker. It's not going to suddenly make those things super duper fast all of a sudden just by installing Linux. So be realistic. Have a look at how old your hardware is. 
And can it do everything you need it to do? If it can, then maybe give it an option and look at one of the options we talked about. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server of chat. Hope you're having a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.